Hi everyone. So today I have a Michael's grab bag haul. I only got one bag and here it is. And I'm going to kind of tell you a story about what led up to me getting this bag. So um, let's go ahead and open the bag. And while I'm doing that, I'll tell you what happened. So today is, I'm filming this on a Saturday. Today is February 5th. So we had an ice storm here that um, happened on February 3rd, Thursday. I live in Memphis and you know, the last two storms were not as bad as, well, they were snowstorms, but they weren't as bad as, you know, they were saying it was going to be. So everybody was kind of like, eh, you know, I don't know if this is gonna be bad, but it turned out to be pretty bad. Cause I woke up Thursday morning hearing um, ice hitting my um, bedroom window. So um, I didn't go to work. I ended up working from home for about a good hour and a half until the power went out. <laughs> so after that, we basically had no power up until today, Saturday, probably sometime either, sometime early, early morning, okay? But okay, let me go ahead and get into the hall and then I'll finish the story. So this is what I got. So they, they've been double bagging the Michaels grab bags. Okay, I'm going to actually scroll out so you're gonna see my mess here. Um, they've been double bagging the grab bags because a lot of the stuff has been like tearing through the bags and then I also don't want you to see what's you know in the bag. So I there were only two bags left and this one was much more full <laughs> than the other one. I could kind of see that the other one were like some of those craft kits for kids and I didn't really want that. So I just grabbed this. I don't know, I was in the mood to get a grab bag. I've been trying to stay away from them, but I happened to be at Michael's anyways. So let's go ahead and take a, oh gosh, they're all Pez. Looks like they're all Pez and I don't really collect Pez. So I will probably give these to my nieces and nephews. Um, so it looks like there's four of, oh no, five of these. <laughs> okay. And then, let's, oh my God, not five, six. Okay. Um, six of those. What do we have here? Two of those, I think. Yeah. And these, I, I guess, these are just, I don't think they're left over from any particular season. Um, I'd heard that it was supposed to be leftovers from Christmas and um, Thanksgiving, and I didn't see any of that. Although I will say that when they do put out those um, grab bags with the Christmas stuff, and I have to look up when that's gonna happen, my store had a ton of Christmas stuff left. So I'm definitely gonna jump on that because I wanna purchase more stuff for my cousin. Um, my cousin's back in the Philippines. Because um, it's better quality than what they're able to get. And it would be a lot cheaper too. So anyway, so yeah, looks like I'm stuck with these Pez. <laughs> um, these Pez containers here, dispensers, whatever you want to call it. So that's the haul. So anyways, let me finish my story here. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and open one since I have so many of them. Um, so yeah, so we didn't have power um, for basically 48 hours, okay? Um, we tried to, we tried to like, you know, just stick it out. Now, Memphis basically, um, Memphis got hit pretty hard. We had over 130,000 people without power as of Thursday, I would say probably by noon of Thursday, okay? Um, the ice accumulation was about a quarter of an inch, but that's enough to like, you know, for trees to accumulate a lot and then branches were breaking. So like after the power went out and I could not, you know, do my job on my cell phone because cell service was really bad. Like um, the cell towers got affected, you know, by then I was just like, hey, I'm just gonna go outside and start taking pictures of the trees and stuff. So there were like these large like cracking noises outside. And it turns out that yeah, because the uh, the ice had accumulated on the branches, branches were breaking off. Now we have these really big trees in our backyard and um, 
the worrisome thing is that it might, you know, it, it's not gonna hit the house, but if the tree fell, hell yeah, it would hit the house. But the branches were really what was breaking. There was this one big one that fell. I don't know how we didn't even hear it. We probably just didn't realize, you know, that it was a branch because when um, we pulled up the blinds, oh my God, there was this huge branch that hit our clothesline. Um, and then, you know, after that, I was just like staying by the window, watching, um, listening for anything that was falling, you know, any branches that were falling. And yeah, there were a ton. Basically our whole backyard looks like a war zone of like broken branches. Um, so I went outside to take pictures and all over the place, I could hear branches just breaking. Um, our neighbor's yard is I think covered also in tree limbs. Um, when I went outside, actually no no before i'd gone outside i'd heard another big like crash and it turns out um the you know the main street that's by our house because we live on a corner um a tree just down the road from us not very far had hit one the power lines and basically pulled down the the uh, utility pole that's right across from our house and so all the lines went down, right? So that, you know, later on that morning, of course, county sheriff um, was driving by and saw that. So they called MLG and W and got a work crew out. So that work crew basically had been working on those lines for like more than 24 hours. Like they were switching, like they were doing 16 hour shifts. So I guess, what happened with us, it was so severe that they had to have a crew out here for that long. Like, there was like at least four trucks. That's pretty, that's pretty, um, yeah, bad, right? So anyways, um, I think I put this in right. It's been so long since I've like, you know, had one of these things. So anyways, um, we thought, okay, we're gonna stick it out. My dad went outside and talked to, one of the crew there and they said that we probably would not get power for a week, which is like shit. We had a, a really bad ice storm back in 94, which is regarded as like the worst ice storm that Memphis has ever had. And I can remember we didn't have power for more than a week. Like all, like Memphis really got hit really, really hard. Um, and in particular, the, the suburb I live in, we have a lot of trees. So that's the reason why it was taking a lot longer for us to get power. So, um, so yeah, so these work crews were like cutting down, you know, cutting apart like the fallen trees and, you know, branches and stuff and then getting the, um, the power back up. So we thought, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try to stick this out. So we slept here at home and it wasn't as bad on the first day, but you know, I mean, I piled up on the, uh, on the blankets and stuff. But by the second day, it was pretty bad. I mean, Thursday, the temperature was like, it was it was freezing or below freezing. And um, the low got down to the 20s with the wind chill like in the teens. So the second day, exactly almost the same temperatures. By then, the house had cooled down to like 59 degrees. That's what the thermostat said. And you know, I mean, I was already like doubled up. I was wearing thermals and sweatpants and a sweatshirt with, you know, thermals underneath. And it was just like, I, I couldn't get warm. I was just like, and I normally, I'm not, I'm like always hot, you know, but this time it was, yeah, when you're just like in that situation, cold all the time. Yeah, it's just, it's just hard. We have a camper stove, so we were able to cook, you know, but still it's like no power the light was not as good. I would have been filming, hey, you know, I didn't have to work Friday, but the light was like, it was just like cloudy, like, you know, cloudy dreary. And it was still kind of like, there was like some snow and then there was still, you know, sleet. So there was just not enough light to really even film. And you can't do anything. I mean, we still had to like use candles during the daytime just to get enough light. So like I would read, you know, or whatnot, just, try to get a signal, you know, on my phone. And then finally when I did, you know, it was just basically talking with my siblings, you know, 
um, scrolling through Facebook just to pass the time. So, um, yeah, so by Friday afternoon, you know, I decided it's like, I, I can't take this anywhere. Hopefully one of my siblings got power. Well, my brother did, so my parents went over there and then my sister called and said that she got power. So I decided to sleep over at her house, which was great, because the minute I walked into her house, I was like, oh my God, I can feel the heat, it feels so good. So yeah, so I slept there and then, um, to my surprise the next morning as I'm cooking breakfast for my nieces and nephew, the Ring app on my phone went off. And it turns out that my dad went back home and yeah, he was, he was at the front door and I was shocked that, you know, power was back so uh, he was kind of shocked because I was talking to him through the app um through the basically the ring doorbell thing and he was just like I, you're in the house and I'm like no I'm actually you know at Steph's house and the power's back so I told him to come and get me you know when the power um when he when he left the house so it was great being able to come home to a warm house you know take a warm shower hot shower and um, now I'm going to definitely enjoy sleeping in my bed tonight and not freeze. So as you can hear, the heater is on. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty much been on throughout the day, off and on. But yes, the house is now heated up. The floor is not cold. I can actually walk barefoot on the wooden floor. So yeah, so that's what's happened in the last two days. There are still some parts um, of my you know suburb that don't have power but they're gonna be getting it back I mean they were getting work crews as far as like Oklahoma and other places to come and help you know get the power back up so uh, yeah it's just been a tiring two days and um, so anyways <laughs> I did go to Michael's with my sister I actually got this yesterday and um, like I said there were just two bags left so but anyways, <laughs> I just thought it would be funny to unbox this on um, on YouTube and let you know what was going on. So yeah, that's the grab bag haul for um, this weekend and I'll see you guys on the next haul. All right, bye-bye.